everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this adorable bonnet. This is so cute. We're using a lot of like sewing techniques in here because we are making this like in multiple pieces, but we're putting it together, sewing it, and it is just so cute and unique and different. Uh, I love it so much and you can make it for a girl or a boy, a uh, baby. Uh, this is actually going to fit my son who is eight months old at the time we are filming this tutorial so it'll probably fit between a six to twelve month old baby um, but you can you know use measurements and throughout this tutorial I share how to measure certain parts to make them bigger if you want to make this bigger but I do not have stitch counts to make the sizing larger so the supplies we are going to use today uh, just one skein of yarn you just need one ball of yarn um, that is a hundred grams or less actually we're using less than one skein of yarn and this ball of yarn is chic sheep by Marley bird this is by red heart yarns big thank you to red heart yarns and yarnspirations for providing the yarn for this project today you can get this yarn at yarnspirations.com this is a size 4 medium worsted weight yarn and like I said it's just a hundred grams uh, 186 yards of yarn we're not using the whole skein actually so you can make this under one skein of yarn and we are also going to use a G sized crochet hook that's 4.25 millimeters and this crochet hook is from the Etsy shop would be fancy it is hand carved ergonomic it fits in the palm of your hand it just has a nice um, bigger handle so that you can crochet for a long period of time without getting a cramped up hand or anything it's really nice um, and then you can choose your favorite size hook and it's fixed in there there's international shipping there's left-handed hooks too available this is a right-handed hook uh, but we're going to use a G size hook today in this tutorial. So make sure you check out the Etsy shop would be fancy to get your crochet hooks like this. Also you're going to need a scissors and a yarn needle to cut your yarn and sew your ends and sew things together because we're making two granny squares like this and then we're making this piece right here and we're sewing it together like this. And then we're crocheting along the edge here and then we're making cute straps and oh my gosh it's just a wonderful piece and it's so quick and easy so I was really enjoying this project and it is so cute on Nasser. you have to check out the pictures on yarnutopia.com on my blog on the website all the links are in the description of this video please follow me on social media Facebook Instagram snapchat right here on YouTube hit that subscribe button uh, big thank you to Red Heart Yarns here for this yarn thanks to my dad who's over my shoulder who's filming this whole tutorial getting right into where you need to see the stitches and big thanks to you for watching let's get started and make this cute little bonnet all right, let's start off with a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and then pull your long end through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we can start. So let's start off by making the squares that go on each side. So let's chain two, yarn over, pull through, one and two. And now in this second chain from the hook right here, we are going to put a series of stitches. So we're going to make a mini square and then we're going to just build off of that. So let's put a single crochet into that ch chain right there. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. That's a single crochet. Now we are going to chain two. So yarn over, pull through, one and two. And we're going to single crochet back into that same chain that we put our first single crochet in. So go back in yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two okay so that chain two is our first corner so now we are going to chain two for our second corner and then single crochet back into that same chain so go in then yarn over pull through and yarn over and pull through two loops there's our next corner now we are going to chain two one and two and we are going to single crochet back in and you can see I kind of turned this around like this so we're going to single crochet back in there and we are going to finish this square by chaining two 
and then we are going to slip stitch into the first single crochet, which is right here. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. Okay, so you should see there are four single crochets and four corners. Now we are going to slip stitch into this first chain two corner space right here. So go into that chain two corner space, yarn over, pull through and through. So we're in the corner and we are going to chain up one. Okay. Then we are going to put in this corner, this chain two corner space, we're going to put a single crochet, then chain two, and then another single crochet in there. Just like that. So that's the corner. Now to get to the next corner, we are going to chain one. We are not going to work into the single crochet stitch here. We are going to hop over to this chain two corner space right here and we are going to put the same series of stitches in there. So single crochet, then chain two, and then one more single crochet in that same chain two space. Okay, and then just repeat that around. So chain one, go to the next corner, which is right here, this chain two corner space, and put a single crochet, then chain two, and then another single crochet. Okay, we have to do that one more time. So single, or I'm sorry, chain one, then hop to the next corner, this is our fourth corner right here, we're going to put a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet in the corner, chain two space. Now to finish this second round here, we are going to chain one and slip stitch to the first single crochet stitch right here. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. Now these next rounds, are going to be our repeat here. We're going to slip stitch into the chain two space, right here, this first corner, slip stitch in there, then chain one, and in the corners we're just going to repeat what we did for the last round, and each corner for here on out is just going to be a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet in the chain two space of the corner. Now for each side, we are going to chain one, we're going to go into the chain one spaces on the sides and make one single crochet in the chain one spaces on the sides. Now we're going to chain one, and now this one we have a corner right here, so we're going to put our corner stitches in there. That's a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. So now we're on the next side here, we're going to chain one, go into the chain one space right here, in the middle and single crochet in there. Then chain one and hop to the next corner and we're going to single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. If I'm going too fast you can pause this, rewind this, see what I did from this corner to this corner. Do that for the last two sides here and then we'll go on to round four next. Alright, when you're finishing this round, make sure to chain that one and then slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round. Go in, yarn over, pull through and through. And then for the next rounds, they're all a repeat of round three. We're going to slip stitch to the corner chain two space, chain up one, put our series of corner stitches in this corner chain two space that's a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. Then chain one, single crochet in the next chain one space on the side, chain one, single crochet in the next chain one space on the side, until you get to the next corner, chain one, and in the corner space to your series of stitches there, that's a single crochet, chain two, and then a single crochet in the corner, chain two spaces. And then just we're on the next side now. So repeat what we did from this corner to this corner all the way around. So chain one, single crochet in the chain one space, chain one, single crochet in the chain one space, chain one, and make your corner stitches in the corner. And do that for each round. We're going to do a total of 10 rounds for this square. 
uh, for both squares, actually. Now, if you need to make your square larger, you can for a bigger head, um, but I'm this will fit the side of my baby's head, who he's eight months old at the time I'm filming this tutorial. Uh, but it will this bonnet will fit him until he's probably um, a year old, so this probably fit like a six to twelve month old baby. And as you can see, I finished round four there, so I'm going to chain one slip stitch to this first single crochet, slip stitch into the chain two space, chain up one, and go on to the next round. So I'm just going to do that until I have 10 rounds total. Uh, once I finish round 10, I'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. All right, I just finished round 10 here. I'm going to slip stitch to the first um, single crochet stitch. And then I'm going to actually chain one and I'm going to cut my yarn long for sewing and then I'm going to pull it all the way through that chain one and pull tight. So now this is what your square should look like. It's looking really nice. If you want to, you can block this, which I have another one made on my blocking station here. And you can see I just pinned it to my blocking station. You can spray it with some water and let it dry. So in total, you'll need to have two of these squares. And once you have both squares finished, now you don't have to block it, but it was just my choice to do that. Um, but as you can see, both of my squares are complete and they look nice. So now e this is going to be the like on the ear of each side. So now what I want to do is make a piece that comes down the center here and down the back. And then it will be our um, main bonnet part. So what I want to do, depending on how wide it should be, you can put this on each side of your baby's ears and see how wide the middle part is and that is how wide yours should be. But I'm going to set these squares aside and make sure you make two of the exact same square, just like this. And then once you have two squares finished, we can grab more of the same color here and we can make the middle section. For the middle section, we are going to start off with a slip knot. And we are going to, so I measured the middle point um, between the two squares on my son's head and um, I chained the amount that it would be. So I didn't really like measure with a ruler, I just kind of eyeballed it. And it was significantly wide, I would say about two, maybe three inches. So what I'm going to do is chain 16, and I have the wrong crochet hook, I don't know why I ended up, <laughs> sorry. Okay. <laughs> We're using a G size hook here. Um, I don't know what hook that was. It was just like laying around. Anyway, let's chain 16, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna chain 17 because I needed 16 stitches. And we're doing single crochets here. So yarn over, pull through. One, two, three. Okay, I'm not gonna make you watch me watch and chain 17. So just chain 17 or the amount that you need to make that center piece. And then I'll be right back. All right, I chained 17 here. Now what we're going to do is single crochet into the second chain from the hook and each ch uh, chain across. The loop on the hook does not count, so count one and two, the second chain here. And what I like to do is turn the chain towards me like this and work into the back ridges of my work. So I'm gonna go into the second chain right here, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two just like that. So we're single crocheting in each chain across, so then I will have 16 stitches all the way across this row. Now yours might be different if yours needs to be wider or uh, skinnier, I guess, <laughs> wider or thinner. Uh, you can chain as many as you need to cover the center of the bonnet. And as you can see in the photos, the piece that I'm referring to is the center piece that goes um, along the head down to the back of the head. So just do that and actually I'm close to the end of this row so I'll show you what row two um, looks like because row two is our repeat row. 
So we're just single crocheting along this chain for row one. And now row two, we are actually going to work in the back loops only. So going on to row two, we are going to chain one, turn our work around, okay? And I'm gonna pull my hook out real quick here so you can see my stitches. I'm gonna turn this towards me just a little bit and you can see the tops of the stitches here, okay? We usually work through, you know, both loops, just like this, both loops, both loops, both loops. The loop that's closest to you is called the front loop, and the loop back here is called the back loop, okay? We are going to work through the back loops only to create that ribbing effect and that look of the um, kind of, it looks kind of wavy on the top of the head. It's kind of cool. So we're going to work through these back loops only for this whole piece. And uh, every row, now from here until you are finished um, with this piece, you're going to chain up one, work in every stitch across, single crochet into the back loop only. Okay, just like this. Okay, so we're just single crocheting into the back loop only all the way across. You'll have 16 stitches all the way across, or the same amount as your row one. So if you needed to make this bigger or smaller, just the same amount of stitches on row one will be uh, on every row now. And we're working in the back loop only, then a single crochet across, and then chain one, turn your work, and then work in the back loop only and single crochet across. So basically just repeat row two until your piece is as long as you need it to be. Now I'll show you how long your piece needs to be after I finish this row. I am going to do a total of 40 rows. Okay, you may have to do more or less depending I guess on your tension. So chain one, turn your work around, and just repeat row two. Single crochet into the back loop only. Just like that. Okay, so I'll show you how long yours needs to be. I'm going to pause here. Okay, I'm going to set this down. I'm going to grab my square, and the length of this piece needs to measure from here all the way across and then down because it's going to be all the way from the front of the head down the back of the head to the neck okay so you need this piece to be this whole length so if you need to measure this down to here measure that and that's how long yours needs to be so I am going to do a total of 40 rows that should get me the length I need and once I finish row 40 I'll come back and I'll show you what to do next all right I just finished um, row 40 here so this is what your piece should look like working in the back loop makes this ribbed effect it looks really cool as you can see very nice so now I'm gonna show you so my piece will measure like this and then this will come down like this and then this square is going to go on the opposite end I know it's really kind of hard to see right now but it's in my visions in my head right now and I'm going to come and bring it to life so what we're going to do at this point once you have your rows done we are going to chain one and cut our yarn long for sewing and we're going to pull it through that whole chain one there like that pull tight it is secure and we are going to use that for sewing so I'm gonna start sewing this right now so I'm gonna grab one of these squares Doo -doo -doo. I'm so excited okay so I'm gonna sew this side and then this square right here I am going to use the strand that's on this square to sew to this piece but then this piece will be sewed to this piece I hope that makes sense I'll show you it, it right now let me grab my yarn needle so I am going to start with this piece first and I am going to yarn my needle with that long strand we just cut and I am going to sew this to this square 
So I'm going to sew it inside out. So I'm going to, this is the outside of the square. And to know what the outside of the square looks like, you can see these stitches. These kind of look like sideways V's right here on this side, just like this. But when you flip this around, you can't see that. So this is the back side of my square. So this side, I want to be on the outside. So what I'm going to do is lay this next to my piece and decide which side you want to be the outside of this one as well. And then what we're going to do is flip this so it's basically inside out. Okay? Then what we're going to do is whip stitch this together. So what we're going to do, whip stitching is just going through one side the whole time. And what I'm going to do is each row on this long piece is going to go through each stitch on this piece. Okay? So I'm just going to go through and through. So that's the row, and then I'm just going to pull. Okay, so there's the first one. Go into the next stitch on this one, and the next row on this one. Okay, and then just push through and pull. Then hop to the next stitch, and the next row, and pull. Okay, and so I'm just going to sew down to here, and then once I get to that corner, I'll show you how to turn the corner, and then we'll sew the rest of this together. Alright, so I came all the way down here, so now I have to go down this side uh, with the rest of this. So I'm folding this down like this, and then I'm going to just kind of pinch this and just go do the rest of my whip stitching on this side. So it's that easy. And um, I don't know if you can tell, but I did do my other side off camera already, so I can show you what that looks like. So it's sewn from here to this corner and then down, just like that. So I'm going to do the rest of this side, and then I'll show you how to fasten off, and then we'll make the rest of this piece. Alright, when you come to the very end here, we are going to fasten off. So what I usually do is just go through two of the stitches, keep my finger in the loop, and then come back through the loop, and then pull tight. Just like that. And you can do that once or twice, and then what we're going to do is just sew in this end, and sew in any ends that you have that are loose. And then we can uh, flip this right side out, because we sewed this uh, kind of like inside out, I guess. Okay, just like that. So we're flipping this right side out, and this is what it should look like cute little bonnet. This is a random strand I have. Um, you can decide which way you want it to be, which way you want up, or like this, or like this. So I think I'm going to have this one, this way be my up. So the head will be in here, and the neck will be down here. So what we're going to do next is make a ribbed kind of bottom here. Okay, so what we're going to do, this is my neck part, so this is the bottom of my bonnet. So I'm going to flip this so that this is at the top here, and I'm going to insert my hook right in here. Okay, and we are going to grab our yarn. Sorry, I'm going to grab my yarn here. We're going to hook this on, pull it through. I'm in the chain two space here, but we're going to pull that through. We're going to chain two, but that's not going to count as anything. We're just going to double crochet into that same spot, so yarn over, go into that same corner there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay. Now we are going to double crochet across, so in each chain and each stitch across here, and each stitch across here, and each chain and stitch across here. Okay, so that's what we are going to do for this row. Now this is the um, the neck portion of the bonnet. This is 
the base, I guess. So we are just double crocheting across the bottom, just like this. And I am actually going to be creating a ribbed look, um, doing front and back post stitches on the next few rows. So I'll show you that once I get this row finished. I'm just going to uh, double crochet across and I'll be right back. Alright, I just double crocheted across this bottom here, so started here, work my way across, and now we are going to go on to the next row of the bottom, I guess it's the bottom cuff by the neck here. So let's chain two and turn the work around, okay, and in the first stitch we are going to put a regular double crochet. So yarn over, go into this very first stitch right here, and put a regular double crochet. Okay. Then in the next stitch, we are going to uh, front post double crochet, so yarn over, go to this side of the post, around it, just like this, then yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. That is a front post double crochet. Now this next stitch, we are going to back post double crochet, so yarn over, go from the back of your work, around that post to the other side, yarn over and pull it through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. That is a back post double crochet. So we're going to alternate those two stitches. So the next stitch gets a front post double crochet, so yarn over, go into the front of your work, to the back, and then to the front again, yarn over, and pull it through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Then this next stitch gets a back post double crochet, so yarn over, go to the back of your work, around that post, yarn over and pull it through, then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So just alternate those two stitches all the way across, and then when you're finished with this row, I will show you, well at the end of this row actually I'll come back because um, the very last stitch just gets a regular double crochet. So once I'm finishing this row I'll come back and I'll show you the next row. When you have one stitch left we are going to put a regular double crochet in there just to finish this row and then we are going to chain two, turn our work around so now we're looking at the outside here. And look at that, cool. We are going to then go on to row three. Row three is basically a repeat of row two. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to uh, put a regular double crochet in the first stitch here. And then we're going to front post double crochet on the front post double crochet stitches and we're going to back post double crochet on the back post double crochet stitches. So this stitch is a front post double crochet stitch, or so it looks like it. So we are going to yarn over, go to the front of that post, around it, and we're going to make a front post stitch. The stitches that look away from us, those are considered the back post stitches. So we are going to back post double crochet on that stitch. Okay, so we're just repeating the last row there. So we're just going to front post double crochet on the front post double crochet stitches. Then we're going to back post double crochet on the back post double crochet stitches. And in the first and last stitch, we are going to put a regular double crochet. Then chain two and go on to your next row and just repeat. And you can do as many rows of this as you want. I am going to do a few of these rows, um, but I'm not sure, I just want to make sure it's the right length to cover the back of my baby's head and uh, kind of down on the neck a little bit. So I'm going to do a few of these rows. Uh, I was hoping to do five rows, but I feel like that might be a little long. So I'm going to, I'm on row three right now, uh, so I might just do four, but I'm not sure. I'll find out <laughs> and then I'll let you know in the next clip how many I did. Alright, I did just finish row four and I think that that is long enough and so I am going to fasten this part off so I'm just going to 
chain one and cut this yarn short and pull it through that chain one there and then pull it tight and then I'm going to sew that in but I want to show you what it looks like so far okay so this is what it looks like this is the bottom neck part this is the back of the head the top of the head and then this is the front so now what I want to do for the front is just clean up this edge here so I'm just going to single crochet along this edge right here so I'm going to attach my yarn right here actually you kind of just not fastened off and just continue to single crochet but I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> obviously I'm doing this as I go so um, I'm just going to attach my yarn here okay and I'm just going to single crochet along this front edge so just chain one single crochet basically where your hook fits on this edge here and I'm single crocheting over the top of these strands to sew them in as I go so I don't have to sew them in later and you know how to do single crochets so I'm just going to single crochet just like this and once I get to the other end we'll go on to the next step alright once you single crochet all the way across we're just going to chain one cut our yarn pull it all the way through and pull tight and we are going to now make a strap so I made this strap off camera here as you can see so we are going to make one on both sides so what I did was just attach my yarn to one of the stitches chain 51 single crochet back and slip stitch and we'll sew in our end so I'll show you that very quickly we're just going to use these two stitches at the very end here so I'm going to attach my yarn in one of them just like this we are going to grab a hold of our yarn Oops. There we go. pull it through okay. and then we are going to chain 51 if you want your straps longer or shorter you can I don't know why I keep using that hook um, <laughs> if you want your straps longer or shorter you can do as many chains as you want but I am just going to chain 51 and then I'll be right back alright I just chained 51 here so now we are going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and each chain back until we get to the beginning over here so just go I like to you know work in the um, back ridge of my chain but you can work in any loop really so the loop on the hook doesn't count so count one and two right here this chain going in then yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two you know how to single crochet by now so we're just going to single crochet into each chain until we get back to the beginning and then I'll show you we're gonna fasten off and that's the strap Alright, I just single crocheted across. Now we're going to go into this next stitch right here and slip stitch. This is on the bonnet, so we're going to yarn over, pull through and through, and then chain one and we'll cut this yarn and pull it through that chain one and pull tight, and that is secure. Okay, so we have a few ends we have to sew in, but I just want to show you. Just do the other side exactly the same way. So if you want to zoom out here, I can show you the final piece here this piece, this one on this side I ended up looking at the outside of my bonnet and I started in the last stitch chained my 51 single crocheted back and then slip stitched into the second stitch on this end here so I'm just going to sew in some of these ends um, if you have any questions about this piece, please leave a comment. I do not have sizing for other um, sizes, or stitch counts, sorry, for other sizes, but you can find the free crochet pattern for this bonnet on yarnutopia.com, so make sure you check that out. And uh, also, check out all the links in the description of this video, link to the blog, link to the Facebook, 
group, Yarn Utopia World. Make sure you're following us there and join the group and share your crochet items. If you have made this or are making this, please share photos in the fa Facebook group, Yarn Utopia World. You can also follow my page on Facebook, Yarn Utopia by Nadia Fouad. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Those links are in the description of this video as well. And I hope you learned something today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please subscribe to our channel. Thumbs up on this video. You can get notifications on when we post our next tutorial. But there it is. Oh my goodness. How sweet is that? Oh my gosh. I love it so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Red Heart Yarns and Yarn Inspirations for this yarn, for this project. Thanks to my dad who's over my shoulder filming this tutorial and putting it up on uh, YouTube for everyone to watch. And uh, big thanks to you for watching all the time. <laughs> Until next time. Happy hooking!